I've had a weird day today, and I've had a bad day today, in fact. But the odd thing about today is that I don't feel all that unhappy at having had a bad day, if you see what I mean. Lots of bad stuff has happened today, or lots of, like, not really bad stuff per se, but, like, lots of stuff that's not really ideal has happened today that should really cause me to be in a bad mood and be feeling bad about myself has happened. Yeah, I don't really feel all that bad. I still feel sort of joyous and connected and good in myself and not really unhappy on any level at all. I'll give you an example of what I mean. I had to go to the hospital today because my leg is in a, in a sort of boot thing after my ankle broke two weeks ago or so. And I had to go to this appointment at the RUH and drag myself through Bath and spend lots of money on taxis and this sort of stuff, which I don't really have. And... Um, go to this orthopedic and fracture clinic appointment and um yeah it it was and that was painful in itself there was pain at that appointment this um this dickhead in the hospital sort of suggested to me while i was there that um i could get a compensation payout from uh, you know injury lawyers and so on um from where i had the accident since it was an accident at work and it like it seemed to him that it wasn't really my fault. I kept on saying to this dude that, yeah, but it's my fault. Like, he was like, no, 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 I used to work in insurance. You could get a huge payout. So I called up the injury lawyers um, and detailed my story. And they said that I could get a huge payout possibly as well. They said, oh, you might have a case here. This, yeah, this really seems like it could sort of work. And um, yeah, I spent like a lot of my day feeling good about myself. Yeah, I could have a case. I could get lots of money and compensation. And then at about five o'clock today, they said, we're not taking your case. You don't see, it doesn't seem like your case would really win. So that put a slight downer on my day. But nonetheless, I've had a really good day for some reason, or I've been in good spirits all day in spite of um, the pain and the, the fracture clinic appointment itself didn't go so well. Um, they said that I've been putting too much weight on my ankle and that the fracture may have slipped slightly. And they sort of um, uh, alluded to the fact that if that continues to happen, I might need another operation on my ankle. And um, yeah, so all sorts of shit like that has been happening today. But I feel okay. I feel good. I don't, and I've been in a lot of pain today. Because I haven't had my pain pills. Because I left them at home and forgot to take them this morning. But I mean, it's just one of those odd things. Like, I've been able to deal with things today on a much sort of more abstracted level I've been able to distance myself somehow from bad feelings and bad emotions and feeling down and feeling frustrated and feeling like it's all going to shit I don't know really what's happened quite today I mean then again I have, things have actually gone well today for me as well on another level obviously um, I uh, I wrote today. I've been sticking with this writing routine where I've been writing two thousand words a day, and um, yeah, I got so I'm writing this Harry Potter spin-off thing at the moment. Just this piece of fan fiction, this uh, novel that I wanted to get written um, for a while now, featuring this character I've invented called Ed Higgy to Feriatrix, who's the new headmaster of Hogwarts. So I managed to get that done, at least. And I wrote a couple of poems today that I was vaguely happy with. And like one thing, I wrote a poem that I put on my Facebook that got a love heart on Facebook from someone who I don't really know that well, who's a comedian. And she loved my poem and that made me feel really happy. So I've been taking joy, I think, in like small things, if you see what I mean. And I've been thinking and feeling just really good. I'm just feeling really mellow and nice and happy. I don't know what, what's up with me. Like, I've got this leg injury. This, um, I'm on crutches as well. I have to be on crutches now because I can't put any weight on it. I've got this broken ankle. I've got metal plates in my ankle and everything. And screws in my ankle. And it, it stings and it aches and it hurts. But irrespective of those things, I've been bizarrely happy. Maybe it's because I'm achieving something. Maybe it's because I've managed to fill the existential vacuum in myself with something like writing and something like... Um, that's the only thing I can think of that it would be. You know, it's the only thing I can think of that could act as a kind of a panacea to my malaise, if you want to put it in such writerly terms. 
and just feeling nice and on a high ish plateau of niceness and loveliness. And then I have you people and this YouTube channel. And that makes me feel good. And if you like it and share it around and you can instruct other people how to feel good also. And this is like all this Victor Frankl stuff in terms of self-help philosophy and whatnot. And like how to live a happy life. Like, yeah, I, I guess it's also the Bertrand Russell philosophy on happiness as well, is it not? And um, having a day-to-day -day kind of thing to go after, you know, a goal to go after. He compared it with his groundskeeper going after the rabbits. He had to travel on this big country estate and how the happiest man he ever knew in his life was this, this groundskeeper who worked on the sprawling country estates on which Bertrand Russell grew up. But I have a, a daily objective to go out and achieve 2,000 words of writing every single day and um, 36,000 words through the first draft of this of this book and it, it shows every signs of being completed within the next month or so at that rate so yeah I'm, I'm feeling happy I'm feeling good so this is like what I mean like all sorts of things today could have put me in a really bad mood just with my past self like with it months ago but it hasn't and I'm feeling chirpy nice comfortable um, and just sort of on a nice even keel a plateau of I think very possibly sustainable happiness so maybe I'll do this every day like a little log video I want to do like a YouTube video every day, maybe. Maybe at the end, towards the end of the day, when I want to summarise how I'm feeling and how things have gone for me. But I just thought I'd do this video now, just for anyone who's interested, to sort of tell you about this odd day that I've had. And um, maybe it'll give people some insight into how to, you know, live better days in their own lives and whatnot. And maybe it will help somebody. So I just thought I'd mention that today. Thank you everyone for watching as always. I love you lots and it's been a pleasure talking to you and I'll see you soon.